want to introduce you to um, the home ribbon when we're working in Access with tables. So um, in my Access, uh, we've got our database that we've created and all the lovely tables that we've imported from Excel. And now mine has to open. I'm really sorry. Let's just make sure it, there it is. Okay. Right. Now, if I double click, I'm just going to go to the products table. Um, so I've opened a table by double clicking. It comes open. It opens up in data sheet view. Now I want to show you this home ribbon. Okay. So the home ribbon has got views like we've already seen view for design and data sheet view and clipboard as you know I've got sort and folder and records and find and text formatting okay so this text formatting I'm not really going to be bothered by it because I don't really want to that you can do yourself again okay, it doesn't change my data okay so I'm not going to work with that but now I'm going to work with the other tabs okay now firstly um, it's very similar it's simple as in Excel so I can click ascending order and see my data in alphabetical order or I can just mix it up again and um, I, it doesn't matter I just click on the on the column and it will sort it for me okay I can click here on remove sort and it will undo the sort okay now I just want to show you about sorting um, basically um, if I sort supplier in a sending order and then I, I, I click on category ID and clicks, um, click category ID. Can you see my category ID is done first? Okay, that is my, is my um, main sort. And my supplier ID is my second sort. Within category, um, the suppliers are sorted. And within category, it's because I clicked category was the last one I sorted. I clicked supplier ID and then when I clicked on category ID it actually the level overrides the supplier ID. So I've got category ID is my all the category IDs are together and where category ID is the same for them supplier ID is sorted. So that is doing a double level sort it's counterintuitive I've got to first click suppliers and then category ID category ID is the second one I click but it becomes the major the major source uh, sort level I'm going to click remove sort okay so that was sorting now I'm going to show you this lovely one select um, I call it uh, select uh, um, now if I click on the category 2 okay and I then go Filter by selection equals to, I get all my, um, cat, all the values where the values are the same as the one that I had clicked. That is what I call filter by selection. Here, this one is filter by selection. So that's a lovely button. If I can toggle it to take it off. You see that toggle button takes it off. So if I click here on the one by supplier ID and I click se a selection, I click equals one now I've got everything that has the value where I clicked on and take it off for instance if I wanted um, uh, IDs or prices of 19 and click selection I've only got that one you see so this is a wonderful one to use I can also go let's say I wanted 22 but I want um, greater than 22 I get all of those that are greater than 22, 72, etc. So um, it's pretty much straightforward. Here, this one is what I call filter by selection. And that is then taken off again by the toggle filter. So that's very nice. And then find. Let's say I want to find price 19 or I want to find 19. Now, is it in the current field where my cursor is? Or is it anywhere else? Current document. Okay, click on next. And we'll find, oh, it finds that 19 for me. Click on find next. Then it finds this 19 for me, which is a supplier ID. Find next. Again, a number, a supplier. And now it finds the price. Okay, 
So it goes through all the number 19s in my table. Okay, so if I wanted just the price 19 to be found, I've got to make sure my cursor is in that column. I say what I want to find. And I go current field. Okay, and now I've, I've only got one of them. Right, now I'm going to show you how to do that with uh, product names. And product names are not numbers. So if I put my cursor on, let's say, on Aniseed, um, and that is a product name, and I click on Find. Okay, so I want to find Aniseed. Um, now let's say I want to find Aniseed uh, Syrup. Okay, so I want exactly that same word to be found. And I can say, current field, now I can say, must this, must it be, must aniseed syrup be the same as the whole field? Or can I have aniseed uh, syrup by uh, Mrs. Mrs. Jones? Okay, so if aniseed syrup is whole field or any part of the field, Okay, or is it the start of the field? So I can choose. I've got three options. Any part of the field, whole field, or start of field. Is it any part of the field? So, wonderful aniseed syrup by Mrs. Jones. Any part of the field. Whole field is only aniseed syrup exactly like that. Start of the field would be aniseed syrup by Mrs. Jones. Okay, so I want start of field, find next. Okay, and I've only got that one on aniseed syrup. But now let's say aniseed syrup, part of the field. Okay, let's see what I get. Current field means in the column where I'm now. And find next. Okay, so I've got nothing else to do with aniseed. Let's try it with let's try it with source. In the current field, in other words, in the column, column product name, and let's say any part of the field. Let's see how many sources. I've got that source, and I've got that source. Okay, so that is my find. And um, so you can play around with these, but I normally use the sorting, selection, uh, filter by selection, toggle filter, and find. And I'll let you to play around with the rest of the, of the icons in your own time. It's pretty much straightforward. So you can find your data in this way. And that's all for now.